Based on the length of time that we've gone in this search, the extensive search efforts that we've put into it, the water temperature, that at this point we do not believe that we're going to find any of these individuals still alive. A loss of power is, is, is one of the worst things that can happen, particularly at that moment where the vessel is already in restricted waters. Uh, it could mean the loss of the main propulsion or the ability to move in the water. Uh, it could mean the loss of, of steering, communications, um, loss of your uh, bridge equipment, which is uh, providing you with your position and, and uh, heading information. So there really is uh, a few things that are scarier than, uh, than a loss of power in, uh, in restricted waters. Many of the vehicles were stopped before they got onto the bridge, which uh, which which uh, saved lives in a, in a in a very very heroic way. Thank you.
my intention that the federal government will pay for the entire cost of reconstructing that bridge. And I expect to, the Congress to support my effort. Everything so far indicates that this was a terrible accident. At this time, we have no other indication, no other reason to believe there's any intentional act here. This is no ordinary bridge. This is one of the cathedrals of American infrastructure. It has been part of the skyline of this region for longer than many of us have been alive. So the path to normalcy will not be easy. It will not be quick. It will not be inexpensive. But we will rebuild together.